Welcome to my channel officially. Today is a big day for me. I've been wanting to start this channel for a long time. I actually did start the channel, but I was not really taking serious the content that I was putting out. And that's all going to change from this point on because I have so much to say to my loved ones and just people who are interested in who I am and what I'm about and all my followers that I have so far and to come in the future. I'm Shakira, if you don't know me already. Some people know me as Kira, Kiki, uh, but mostly as Kira. I'm a singer, I'm a writer, I'm into nature. Uh, most importantly, I'm just all into uplifting people and sharing how I am becoming better, a better version of myself every day. Um, and I just want to start sharing my experiences with the world. One big thing for me, though, and the thing that I want to document is this resurrection. <laughs> That's the word I can I can think of right now that best suits this journey I'm on. Um, this resurrection from working nine to fives to being a completely independent entrepreneur, making money on my own without having to report to a nine to five office setting um, other than like in my own home. I've been in love with music since I was a little girl. That's my number one passion in life. If I had to choose anything in the world to do, music would be it. Music is it. I do music every day. Even if it's not a whole song or even if it's not a song at all, I'm constantly thinking of music. Music is probably one of the first thoughts I've ever had. And it's my earliest passion or dream or goal that I've ever wanted to accomplish. And of course, throughout the years, as I've matured and become older and I've become the person that I am becoming still today, I realized that that passion does not look the way I thought it would look um, as far as getting it out into the world in the way that I wanted to pursue it. You know, when I was younger, I thought that I wanted to just be famous and I just wanted to be known and I wanted people to hear my music, but just love me, love me, love me. I wanted to be on this big major scale, but now I feel like I would be just fine not being known. But just being heard, I wouldn't mind people hearing my music through someone else's voice. You know, I don't mind playing a background. I'm not looking to be famous. I'm just on a mission right now to make sure that I can sustain and not even just sustain, but live beyond my means so that me and my son and my future family can live beyond our ev what we ever thought that we could do or um you know see things that we never thought that we would be able to see i want to be able to break boundaries that the ones in my family or in generations before me were not able to you know break those barriers so if it's traveling i'm, I'm a traveler i know in my heart i'm going to see the world that's just what i'm going to do so there's so many people out there doing the same thing. It just lets me know that it's not that far-fetched. It's not far-fetched at all. So this year, I've already um, taken my first trip out of the country, out of America. It was awesome. I went on my own. I did meet someone um, there where I went. I went to Jamaica, but I only knew this one person. I didn't know anybody else, and I just went for it. I actually had to get my passport expedited because I was going there for this person's birthday, my friend's birthday, and I didn't want to miss it. We have been talking about it for months, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it happen, but I did. I went. I made the decision at 31 years old that I'm going to finally see another country, see somewhere else other than America, and I did it. So I can't just let it stop there. That's just only the beginning, um, but... With that trip to Jamaica, I believe I, you know, I had just came, come off of a big breakup and I was just in between and I had never really gone somewhere without my son. My son is seven years old. So, you know, all you mommies out there, you know how tough it is. You feel so jealous. I'm not jealous. You feel guilty. 
you feel guilty when you leave your child with other people. I've never been that kind of mother. My son doesn't go and stay nights at people's houses very often. Um, I have like one auntie he would go spend the night with, you know, because she has a child who's close in age with him my my little cousin but other than that he doesn't go hang out with people he doesn't he's always with mommy so that was another um goal of mine too you know to just try to teach my son some independence and how to kind of live without me for a minute if mommy's not there what is he gonna do if, you know god forbid something was to happen to me i want my son to be a thriving individual no matter what so you know, um, like I said, it took me 31 years living in this life. I guess you can't really count the, you know, the younger years when you're a child and you're, you can't really make decisions on where you're going to go and what you're going to do with yourself. You're kind of limited. But, um, you know, in my whole adult life, I had never taken a trip anywhere, any kind of vacation on my own, always just with family. And it was never out of the country. So it was a huge, 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 huge check mark off of my list my bucket list and Jamaica of all places I mean come on who does not want to go to Jamaica so I had a great time I was gone for two weeks I'll have videos being uploaded soon about that um but other than that um yeah it was great I needed that trip so I'm going to be documenting and sharing how I experienced Jamaica and how it made me a better individual coming back to the U.S. well how did it change my mindset how am I looking at life differently now um yeah, I also have some endeavors that I'm working on as far as uh, making money I want to share with you guys. I'm not sure if you're aware of Shopify. I'm also a shopify -er. <laughs> I do um, have a website with Shopify. I'm, I'm actually in the process now of getting it all complete so that I can officially launch it. But I've been working on it for quite some time now, since October of last year. So... I'm almost a vet in this. I'm, I'm really confident I'm going to be able to help other people who want to st start out in Shopify soon as well. Um, I'm also going to be starting a catering business and um, a gardening business. I have so much stuff coming up and I just want this YouTube channel to document that. I want it to inspire other people to see you know, I want people to see that you can do all of these crazy ideas that come to your brain that you know is more than just a crazy idea. It's a passion. It's a love. And it's something that you really want to do for you and for other people to benefit the world that you can do it. So I've been talking for like almost eight minutes. I can't believe it. It's been a long time. This is like another thing off my bucket list is just get this video out and start my channel. So I just finished my workout. Excuse the way I'm dressed. <laughs> That's another thing. We're going to touch on that too. Your girl Shakira got a whole bunch of shit going on for you. All right. So if you're bored and you don't want to watch no more TV and you don't really have nobody that you rocking with like that on YouTube, Come check me out. I'm going to be posting my videos quite often. Let's get this shit cracking, all right? <laughs> all right, as y'all see, I'm still working on my, my little hood speech. It comes out of me sometimes. I can't help it. I'm not going to let that go. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Love, 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 love to everyone. Peace.